Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes. Welcome. You want to you want to lean your heads together for the video for just a moment? There we go. All right, we'll be close. <laughs> yep. Um, so welcome, folks. It's seven thirty a.m. We're so glad to join you in this bright and early sunshiny morning. It's two Thursday, and the, the the weather is bright. I look forward to everyone joining us in the future. Um, one of the things that we've we've been working on is, uh, is making sure that we can play co-op co mode instead of single player mode from the beginning when we're doing our onboarding and our working together. And one of the cultural things that we've done with that is um, with my kids this, this tomorrow, we're gonna do some coding. They've never really done any coding, but we're gonna be spinning up, um, it's not inside of Kubevert, but it's inside of Coder an environment to uh, work on work on code together. Um, but before you can get to doing stuff, you kind of have to do a, a simpler version. Um, and the, we, we've come up with some software called uh, II Métis. And um, before we go into the Métis bit, where it's like, hi, mates, let's, let's start this thing together, um, there's the technology and then the and part of the um, cultural exploring is a book that a couple of my friends named Andy wrote and it's about um, values and doing things together. Um, here's the book. There's three things to know and uh, it's a story about culture and it's about valuable people and, and making sure that we see that everybody has, has value. Hi, David. But I'm going to read this book to you all, and it's um, it'll be a good intro to why we're spending so much time writing this technology. When you look at you, tell me, what do you see? A tonga, a treasure, or do you disagree? Do you see someone great? Do you see someone small, someone that matters a lot, or not really at all? Because sometimes we think to be someone who counts, we must act the right way or somehow stand out. But so I'm here to tell you, whether you see it or not, you already have value. Just that, that may be better. <laughs> What does that mean? Well, it means that you're great. It means that you matter. No room for debate. If you're big or you're small, tall, lean or stumpy, happy or sad or incredibly grumpy, brainy or brawny, inspiring or fun, if you speak several languages or maybe just one, If you love to play sports or are good on guitar, none of that changes how special you are because you had your worth from your very first day and nothing and no one can take that away. I like the eyes on this one. So learn to be you, be as you as you can be because you being you is what everyone needs. When you just be you and I just be me, and we just be we didn't take so much more than we could if we did it on our own succeeding together so much more than we could our own. I mean, if you don't pass the ball then i can't score a goal and the batter can't hit a kite doesn't fly if hugs are no fun if there's no one to squeeze there's no uncles or aunts without nephews and nieces, and the puzzle is unfinished without all the pieces. If we all work together, we'll get the job done. For when you rise, I rise like the stars or the sun. For you can succeed when someone helps you, and you can help them because they matter too. And they had their worth from their very first day and nothing and no one can take it away. 
from the littlest baby to the greatest of queens, from the smallest to the tallest and all in between. If they live in a mansion or they live on the street, if they like to stand out, well, like some of us take a back seat. If they're mean or well-mannered, or they're nasty or nice, or maybe there's someone not everyone likes, or maybe there's someone who doesn't like you, there's still someone valuable and just like you. They have worth, they are special. So treat them with care and call out the greatness you know is in there by encouraging, helping, or just being kind. We all need each other. That's how we're designed. So the book is three things to know. As I start to farewell you, firstly, remember that you have value. Take risks and fly high. Put your worth on display because nothing and no one can take it away. Second thing then is to work as a team, succeeding together in reaching our dreams. And last but not least, before I say goodbye, no others matter, so help lift them high. So I'll just be me and you just be you and together, We'll stand together in all that we do. I read this book a lot to people because I think it's important that we realize that everybody has value, that you have value, and that when we do things together, we're able to succeed so much more. And a lot of the technologies that we develop at AI to help people work together. And one of those pieces of software uh, it's called II Matey. Um, I'm not sure if I how to share my screen just yet. I'm not that technical when it comes to clicking on things. Share screen. There it is. Share the whole. Share the screen. Maybe let's make it easy. We'll share the screen. Everyone can see that. I'll make this the main thing. Oh, it's a bit recursive. I'll go over here. This is um, II Matey. Um, it is some software that combines some technology together. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties this morning, so the demo will be more about a, a talk about it. Um, but as you can see in the in the uh, video here, it's the, the GitHub repo is github.com slash ii slash matey. And once you've installed the components, there's a command to share and explore the ocean together of, of the little terminal. So II Matey Start brings up and gives you a website. Um, right now I'm having some issues with the, the endpoint, so it's not coming up. Um, but I would love to explore that later with folks. But in this talk, we'll go through the technology underpinning it. Because once that URL is up from your local terminal on Ubuntu or Mac or WSL2 on Windows, you can start giving the URL to people you trust, and they can explore that terminal with you because you have value <laughs> and they have value and doing things together is a good way to do it. That's why it's II, right? Uh, and it's also fun because it's like II. Um, installing it is pretty simple. You can look at this uh, teammate. Uh, we'll walk through this II matey setup script and look at the start. Uh, you can see that when it starts, it creates some logs for two pieces. There's three main pieces of software that it saves are for TTYD and Tunnel. And then uh, gives us a URL here at the end. Um, we'll go through the, the code base really quick. It's, it will first go through the, the setup. Um, inside of the setup, when we check whether we're on Linux or Darwin, we check our OS. And then we go through and check our architecture um, for AMD or ARM. I don't have binaries built for this piece of software called WireGuard Tunnel. But WireGuard Tunnel is pretty cool. We'll go explore that real quick. So it's github.com. This fun folks over at Coder have this thing called WG Tunnel. And what's about it is you can run it and you're able to connect to their um, to their tunnel and they use that for their piece of software called 
coder. And it may be that even when on my computer, I can fix my install to use there because I forgot that they have one. So this is where we'll go through and look at um, where is my install? It'd probably be in user, where's it be in uh, local, um, user local bin, user local bin, IIMAT. And I think when I start IIMAT, this is that script that we're, we're having earlier. I was trying to find a way to get around it. So you can you can actually set a variable called the IIMAT URL, but I'm gonna do, um, I think it's called Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh one dot uh, try dot coder I think it's dot app is the default so we tried to set one up here and I uh, didn't work um, so I'm going to use this uh, and quickly check to see if that's why my demo wasn't working earlier I am a T I am a T I am a T status um, looks like we have some, uh, it's up, but we don't have it started. So I'm going to go ahead and start it and set bind error. Hey, there's our URLs. So that did work. Yay. Um, and if I do I, I, maybe this is my computer. So uh, again, the demo didn't quite go to plan. So don't use this URL right now, except for my friend. <laughs> uh, but if you do I, I, maybe uh, status now, it'll show us that we have this other, other endpoint. So I'm going to share that with my friend. This is, uh, here we go, Jay Tahima. Jay's joining me via, we're going to play like we're doing Zoom because we're going to have a friend join us via Zoom. So I'll go into the Zoom. How do I send it? Uh, let's do it. Go over here. We'll paste. This is, uh, nope, this one. And we'll do this one. <laughs> Trying to get some support there. Thank you very much this window will go back and now on his computer he'll click on that URL and be able to explore the terminal with me as I figure out what's going on how do I fix this so I don't know if you can see in the window inside my huddle with actually right here <laughs> um, with my friend uh, Jay and I are exploring this terminal together to kind of understand a bit more about II II Mate and um, it would it, it allows us really quickly to help each other get started um, in 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 exploring the the inky blackness of the unknown uh, together. Uh, I mean, and then uh, and then Maya uh, clear. We also use um, some stuff to drive these. It's a, we have our templates inside of source uh, coder templates. And there's some pretty fun ones in here. If we look, uh, this is on the uh, public as well. Uh, get remote. Um, let's maybe do just a lo local coder instance. Um, there's, some, there's some templates we're working on specifically for Kubert. And I will bring those up on the web. So it's a little easier for us all to see to get to com. CNCF infra coder template. Oops. Com, CNCF infra coder templates. Kubert. And these, this is the stuff that I thought I get it aligned for today's talk. Um, but it uses coder when coder Kubernetes cluster with Kubert installed. It, and then we'll go through this. <clears throat> There's a research org file kind of explore <clears throat> our path to getting Kubert hosts up and running <clears throat> and then using CAPI plus Kubert to create some clusters to go through and have a working CNI that's exposed per user. So you can actually SSH into uh, a development pod inside of a cluster that's run via because uh, lots of other applications, it could be fun, but I really like the ease of use of creating um, shared collaborative spaces with um, this particular cluster uh, definition of the of, of Terraform. But you can see where we go through and deploy. Oh, this one does. Uh, that's kind of fun. Um, it's some. So I use a. Max, and so I think it's 
was up and running somewhere here. Uh, what was that? That's on coder.ii. Yeah. And we have an Emacs pod. So this is some of the ways that you can create virtual space that you can share. So I actually have our, the way we've stuffed in II matey today. It's also available when you create a workspace from a template. So here's our templates for doing something simple on packet. Something makes an Emacs pod. And, uh, and if I go to my workspace for the one I just created, these up that you can click on. One of them is a code server that actually lets you um, launch a version of, I think, code, uh, VS code that's web-based. Um, there's also one we've got Emacs running in a browser. And of course, you can run a browser in a browser inside of these virtual development collaborative environments. Um, and of course, the old, uh, this is just Tmux. It runs Tmux attached inside of a terminal to connect to inside the cluster and do our development work together. And TTYD for Tmux, uh, which is its own, right? Like if we were to connect that, you could uh, blow up my cluster over here. And um, there's actually some fun stuff with SSH where I could go through and uh, we'll do this on the local terminal just for fun to kind of explore some of these ideas together. So this is coder config SSH. Uh, actually, let's do this together in my shared terminal. <laughs> so in our in our coder config SSH, it's done. If I go back to that web terminal, I can copy to get into my Emacs session. That's up. And from my computer, I've shared my terminal where I've created a coding session with Emacs that I'm sharing with a friend. <laughs> And this is inside of a Kubernetes, uh, except that I can't list pods <laughs> with, the, with the user that I have. Maybe not with another. Um, that's that's pretty much the, the the main part of the demo. And I figured there'll be some interesting discussions and questions coming coming off of that. Um, where is the web page for the thing? Let me here. Over here. Hopefully, people can still hear me. <laughs> I invite you to give a try to II Matey, uh, and then we'll try to get that endpoint up and running. Uh, otherwise, you can replace that variable um, in the II Matey, not the setup, but the uh, II Matey when it runs, like we did. Um, here, it's not that variable. So it's still work. It's it's brand new project. We're, we're trying to figure out how to connect all the things together, make it super easy. But I think our our tri tunnel is done. Do you want to try running a matey on your machine? Sure. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> let's do so, it. Let's do it together. So you want to follow along with your paintbrushes at home. Uh, you just need a computer that has access to Ubuntu or OS X. This screen that I'm sharing is the screen that Jay is on next to me, so I'm just going to make it full screen. And if you'll bring up an Ubuntu, I think you had a terminal. Do you have a terminal? Because this is exploring the inky, inky blackness together. <laughs> Yay! This is um, a Windows box with Ubuntu. Awesome. And would you go to the website? Uh, that was a GitHub. It's github.com slash. I'm in the browser, so that'll find a web browser. I think it's that thing behind there. Yeah, it's a new tab uh, up here. Um, the little plus. Yep. And then uh, for type in the URL bar, control L or uh, uh, github.com slash ii. Slash matey. I matey. Or I I. <laughs> um, and there is a, go down in there, read me a bit. There'll be a, a scroll down. And somewhere in there is, a, there it is, install I I matey. So if you'll copy that, if you'll mouse over it a little bit, there's a little, yeah, that'll work too, whatever, whatever. And I go back to your terminal and paste that in there. Awesome. 
Now that's going to go through and do some things. Um, you'll need to put your password in there because it's trying to update the software on Ubuntu. So this is your password for your Ubuntu box. Mm. Oh, don't know that one. Oh, that's fair. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, I'll just try a few things and see if it works. And if it doesn't, we'll... Okay. Hmm. Demo time. <laughs> and... Okay. Working! Excellent! So uh, here we roll forward, um, updating the software on the, the old the Ubuntu box inside the Windows box and so many, so many shells. Um, but once we get this piece of software, it, um, we're going to install Tmux, which is a terminal, the little black box, Muxer. It will help us do many things over one, one terminal. And then the terminals and uh, I have a thing running, and I guess usually called TTY. When I was in the university, with these little green things that we type on it, and then on the other end, uh, the, the the keyboard was a screen, and that screen had a serial port on it, and that thing was called a terminal. And now we have virtual terminals, which are great. Uh, and um, so TTYD is a daemon that allows you to run programs via the web. And one of the programs that we can run is the Terminal Muxer. So we'll have a little website that's local that connects to a Tmux, which is the terminal thing. And then we need something to get it on the internet. And that's where this wire guard tunnel thing comes in, where we had to, uh, we'll need to do this with yours and update it to try until our II and Z one is up, but that's the way demos go. Um, with that, combination even inside of a cluster or inside of a box or anywhere you are if you can run these three programs together in a very special way you can say i i matey can you help me explore this place together i'd like to do it with a friend because doing it alone is never it's, it's always it's so much if we, if we have a culture of when someone comes into our open source project and they said i'd like to i'd like to do this this looks like fun and we tell them, why don't you go spend a whole bunch of time out in the wild weeds of learning the docs and doing the hard bits? I spent a year traveling around the United States, going to all the community and hacker and maker spaces, and, and I looked for cultural things. You know what I found? It was, there's a hacker space in Portland called Control H. And, uh, and what they have is, is humans who, when you walk through the door, it may take a minute. It's 18 minutes. We may not. It's fine. It's going it'll, to, it'll work, people. Let's just try this. I'm on my Wi-Fi slow. Um, there was someone at the door, and when you came through the door, they said, what are you interested in? How can I connect you? And they would walk me over to the printer. They'd walk me over to the person, and they'd show me. Now, they could have just pointed at a book and said, here's the book you should read, but those are the places that the culture didn't work and the place died or that the economics didn't work or that, well, it was community that didn't work. So I want to encourage us to remember these three things <laughs> that you have value, that it's better to do things together and that others have value. And if we can focus our attention on being intentional, about including and in everybody in our spaces and doing it collaboratively from the beginning, what they'll learn is how to turn around and invite others and help them. And we will have beautiful open communities with lots of people coming in and being mentored from the moment they arrive through and creating a, a beautiful relational connected community and so i look forward to seeing some of you at, at kubecon eu um and uh and Aki jay's coming so we're gonna do some fun so if you see us around come get some cool i i stickers or i'm gonna have a lot of these books i'll read them to you personally i'll put your name in it um culture is everything Technology so, is there too. 
assist one, uh, one in making it viral. Y'all can hear me. We we can't. But see I don't want to have uh, a viral thing that's just from one neighborhood or one nation. I want to have lots of interesting cultures and things where we arrive and invite people in. And um, we can't see your screen share. I think we're. I want to give a little bit of time for questions. We're at five minutes. Can you all hear me? Nobody can hear me. Great. Okay. They don't think, well, wait five minutes. <laughs> Almost there. No, <laughs> and my time out perfect. It's slowly getting faster. <laughs> uh, it is keeping us on our toes. Something about timing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, can you all hear me? Uh, yeah, how, 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 do we, how do we look for questions? I, I, uh, I'm going to leave the huddle. I don't want to leave the huddle. I want to. <laughs> Something. Where's the software? Is it a website? It's a website. There's I, I there's the new website for I I'm eighty oh, coming coming soon. And here's the thing. Hi, David. Hey, can you can you hear me? Can yeah. You? Oh, you can. I can hear you. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, we can't see your screen. Uh, so I. I wanted to. Oh. We we saw it earlier, but then at some point it, it cut out. It stopped. Um, yeah. Oh well, that's less lovely. Well, we had some fun times. <laughs> Wait, let me try again because the fun stuff's about about to happen momentarily. Well, we, uh, we have about three minutes left. Um, yeah. Maybe. Uh, so let me see if we have any questions. Uh, most yeah. of the questions are, "Can you hear us?" Um, well, one question for me is, what was in that template, the KubeVert template uh, that you all Absolutely. were talking about? Let me, so I'm going to try to dive into that. I'll go right into it. I'm going to share my entire screen. Let me know if you can see that. I'm going to go into this is the simple packet. That's the one on the internet. So if you go to CNCF Inch for Code or Templates, there is the KubeVert uh, folder this folder there's a, a readme with a lot of our, our iteration loop of how to run code or to start it up and how to import the uh, this is that that, that and, those URLs. and the cluster um and we were going through and creating these uh, clusters on the fly and you actually export a kube config outside of it and we were working on getting the ingress and everything um and then we just didn't get across the line just yet the the only thing that that is eaten by terraf or by um, coder is the terraform bit. So this is uh, just straight terra. The coder and a Kubernetes resource. The coder resources tie in the API authentication to um, co to to Kubert. This may even work right now as it is. The, this was a, a template that we used that was based on KubeADM on Ubuntu or something, and we were trying to switch it over to. Talovert, and I think we we got we got closer. Um, but this stuff is yeah, this is the pretty meaty beef, beef, beefy stuff. Cool. And is this setting up, I guess, a uh, a guest cluster? So it's a template yeah. that's going to run like Cappy with Kubevert, and is it a guest cluster you can share, or how does this? Yeah, so the, the idea was that the CNCF projects would be able to create one of these instances of Coder, and when you click on it, the, a, a CAPI-based KubeVert cluster that was isolated would bring up their project and the source code so that with an editor in, in the browser, so they could go through and quickly understand con and, and, and invite someone to do it with them. Uh, collaboratively and co-author some initial commits within like 30 minutes versus our current onboarding processes. Go read the manual. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Very cool. It's fun stuff. Yeah, ingress is going to be a challenge, possibly. Uh, Dillion does a lot of fun things that we didn't have before. And also, if you look at the coder stuff for how we create the ingresses, we can do that without Kubernetes. It's a, it's a little different approach, but it's it's quite fun. Because then everybody, whatever apps we use, as long as the daemon code can reach it, it proxies it from your web UI in through the cluster's perspective. So whatever that... whatever that Oh, going through the API server to proxy it? Uh, through the coder API. So you have coder, uh, the software, 
And sure. That's the website you log into and you upload the templates and it's the one that creates the Terraform and it injects into certain places a daemon that connects back. And that backhaul daemon has web sockets to allow you to put web search they're reachable from that process is namespace. It's a similar and concept. That. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, it's a so similar it's like concept. A reverse pro well, it's a proxy of some sort. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I, I don't see any other questions and we're at time. Uh, that was a very interesting presentation. You took us on quite a ride. Uh, yeah, thank you Always. very much. <laughs> um,